If I remember watching the news, I almost always see that they were favoring one side or point of view, especially regarding politics. The media is biased for many reasons, the first being they want more people to quit their articles and watch their shows. The media companies like CNN, ABC, and Fox make money by showing ads. The more people that click, the more ads are seen, which means they make more money. This incentivizes them to use crazy headlines and over-exaggerated stories, so people come, keep on coming back for more. Another way they draw people in is by telling them what they want to hear. People are more likely to watch news and stations that agree with their point of view. The media outlets will a lot of times only give one part of the story or present in a way that only supports one side. If people keep on hearing what they want to hear, they'll probably keep on coming back more and they'll build a bigger fan base in that way. Another way the media is biased is that individual reporters will have their own opinions on the story and a lot of time they could let their opinion into the reporting. One way they exaggerate is by cherry picking certain items or instances. An example of this would be if a politician made a law or passed a bill that they did not agree with, they would find one person or family that was negatively impacted instead of how people were impacted as a whole. And also news outlets will tend to only give one side of the story instead of telling it uh, from many different points of views. This will and also, they will present it in a way where it's kind of the truth, but they're not really giving the whole story. Now I'll give some tips on how to see past uh, the media bias. One way to see past media bias is looking at it from many different points of views and different, uh, looking at more than just one station. This is by far the best way to know if a story is true or not. To see if, ever, if everyone's reporting differently, it might, it might be, there might be something going on there. Now, another way the media it can be biased is by uh, misleading graphs. The media a lot of the time uses a misleading graph to try to tell you something that is not true. And now I'm going to show you how to point out a couple of misleading graphs. So this first graph on the bottom, it is uh, telling the gun deaths in Florida. And basically what it's doing is that the numbers on the side, they're actually going up as the graph gets lower instead of how every other graph does it as it go, it, uh, the numbers get higher as the graph goes up. So that's one way they try to mislead you and another way is that the, the graph on the top um, this is by Fox News and they're trying to show uh, how the Bush tax cut uh, how that would raise taxes and this is misleading because the graph actually doesn't start at zero it starts at 34 make it look like it would absolutely skyrocket when it's only going up a few percent. Okay. And then, also, you can know a story is made to be misleading if there's lots of things missing from the story, or if it seems like, like there's something wrong with that. So, in conclusion, the media companies want to make more money and get more people to watch their shows. So they will use tactics like over-exaggerating stories and uh, just trying to appease one certain type of people so they can keep on getting a bigger viewership and uh, selling more ads.